Hi there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you doing today? I hope you're feeling great and in good health. Today, I am going to discuss with you about adenium plans. Before we start, if you are new to my YouTube channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing now by clicking the red subscribe button located on the lower right corner and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss my latest uploaded video. Now let's get started. Adenium is a succulent bush that is more common to the areas of Arabia, Thailand, Taiwan, Vietnam, and Africa, but can be easily found in many other countries. In this country it is rather frequently used for bonsai due to the fact it can grow in containers. Adenium desert rose is an extremely beautiful plant. I find the colors of the shrubs especially appealing. Those, who have never seen any adenium plants pictures, will definitely find it hard to imagine shades of white, pink and red flowers that can make any place special. Adenium Plants Description These bushes have thick stems and fleshy branches. Their foliage is generally oval-shaped and varies in size, 2-7 inches. The size generally depends on the maturity of the plant and its location. These plants commonly grow outdoors, however, when they are young, they can be seen within an indoor area. Though the types of adenium are multiple, adenium sulcotrinum deserves special consideration. I've always been dreaming of getting this plant. It is regarded to be one of the largest species, as it reaches nearly 15 feet and has a cylindrical trunk, 8 feet in diameter. The pink flower of the plant appears for a couple of weeks in spring. Of course, adenium images can't show the real beauty of the blossom, but still they are really impressive. Unfortunately, the flower is not commonly available, as it requires proper care and appropriate climate conditions, it is difficult to grow it in this country, but in rare cases possible. What makes the desert rose special? Adenium desert rose is commonly known by its deep red flowers and a swollen succulent stem. It is frequently referred to as adenium obesum, the plant which growth mainly depends on pruning and variety. Be very careful with the sap of the plant, as it is poisonous and should not come into contact with pets and children. When adenium obesum grows on its own, it can reach 10 feet, though there are common cases, when the plant reaches 15 feet. To ensure that the plant has enough soil for proper growth, it should be repotted in a large container. New growths can be pruned and the plant can be easily shaped at times of its most active growth, during spring and summer months. Collecting Adenium Seeds The process of plant cultivation presupposes seedling quality. The best quality seedlings are mainly produced by growing them slowly. I used to have lots of problems with germination of seeds and their collecting. Not many people know that this plant develops really large pods, when it is mature. It is very important to let these pods dry off in a natural way, it means on the plant. In two weeks they break open and disperse seeds. When collecting them I take a paper bag and tie it around the pod. In 15 days after being collected the seeds should be planted into pots. When they are germinating, it is important to water them regularly. Thus. Starting adenium the seeds is rewarding as they soon will turn into an incredibly pretty plant. Induce branching of the adenium plant with cutting. Cutting intimidates gardeners, as not all of them know how to prune. To begin with, you are to use clean scissors. As for me, I always use sterilized shears, as they ensure that the disease from any branch won't spread to other plants. Use sharp blades as they make the cuts clean. Many plants produce more than one growth, and if you cut them off, never throw them away, transplanting them you will have lots of new plants. The only thing to know is when to transplant and how to do it. Planting Adenium Seeds How to plant an adenium? It can be easily grown from adenium seeds. I always start with choosing plant location. This should be an area full of sun, as it ensures great flowering. You can use usual soil. But I recommend taking cactus soil mixed with coarse grit, perlite, sand and gravel. After this, push the seeds you have into the soil and cover with soil. I placed seeds one inch down, however, here things depend on the plant, as some species require deeper planting. After planting the seeds should be well watered. When planting adenium, 
remember that the germination period should pass in the lightly moist soil. 5 Growing Tips to Keep to 1. Sunlight. These plants require much sunlight for proper development. If they are growing in cloudy locations, they become spindly and develop less vibrant blooms. Some species can withstand 30 to 50 percent shade and the sun can burn their foliage. 2. Location. Choose the location with a temperature not more than 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Adneomobsum also enjoys high humidity. That is why in such areas these plants grow better, regardless of whether they are outdoors or indoors. 3. Growing in the ground. When adenium is about to be planted into the ground, choose a raised bed with sloping sides. Make sure the area is well drained. 4. Growing in containers. How to grow the plant in containers. Choose only terracotta or clay containers. Add stones to the pot's bottom to ensure comparatively better drainage. 5. Dormancy. These plants require special care, especially after entering dormant periods. I always move containers to dry and frost-free locations and water the plants once per month. When the spring comes, I increase the amount of water, because the plant starts entering another cycle. Adnium Care Guide, Essential Care Instructions As I've already mentioned, Adenium grows well in desert climates, so if you want to have this plant at home, make sure you know how to care for it. The following care instructions will help you to ensure the plant's health. Daily watering is essential only during hot summer days. As the flower grows in warm climates, where the temperature always remains above 50 Fahrenheit even at night, remember to water it regularly even throughout winter months. This will allow the soil to dry out between watering. Temperature is another thing you should pay attention to. In case you live in a subtropical climate, you can place the plant indoors until cold weather passes. Adenium can also be grown outdoors in areas where the temperature never goes below 40. The desert rose can survive 40 degrees with little damage, but when the temperature is below 30, the plant dies. In winter the plant can freeze, even if it is placed in a greenhouse. There are a few tips on how to care for adenium in winter. Many people treat it like a cactus. Caring for adenium, water it only on warm sunny days and move it to the house, when there is a risk of frost. The cultivar of adenium arabicum. Adenium arabicum is the species with a huge caudex, large leathery foliage and spectacular pink, sometimes white flowers. This cultivar is usually used as a bonsai tree. There are two forms of Adenium Arabicum, Saudi and Yemeni. They differ in height, the size of the blossoms and the period of flowering. This plant will make a true adornment of anyone's collection. Adenium Arabicum that was started from the seeds can have an unusual shape of the caudex and if the cultivar is more than 10 years can be worth more than US $1,000. The most commonly seen diseases and pests. Spider mites are pests that can occur on leaves and branches. They lead to leaves curling and are extremely harmful. To prevent their occurrence, it is essential to keep the plant free of dead plant debris and place it in the area with plenty of moving air. Mealybugs suck sap and nutrients from plants and usually become the main cause of slow growth. However, they are easily removed with strong water spray. Though there are many different diseases that lead to various problems. I've personally faced only one, stem rot. This disease causes decaying of the plant's inner layers, spreading very quickly during cold days. However, when the plant has survived its first winter, stem rot is no longer a problem. If you keep to all these rules and instructions, you can consider adenium propagation through seeds and cuttings, but make sure you have enough place to hide your plants when it is cold outside. What is the meaning of adenium? and South African shrub having a swollen succulent stem and bearing showy pink and white flowers after the leaves fall, popular as an ornamental in tropics. Synonyms, Adenium multiflora, Desert Rose, Impala Lily, Kudu Lily, Makazali type of, Bush, Shrub. Is Adenium an indoor plant? The various Adenium the species are succulent plants that can be grown in our climate, either indoors or outside. They produce flowers that are truly spectacular for container-grown plants, 
Adeniumar desert plants native to the dry areas of Africa. As such, they can handle our heat and dry air quite well. Is Adenium poisonous? The Adenium aka desert rose is included in a list of plants considered dangerously toxic to humans, dogs, cats, and horses. The plant is known to contain potent toxins which if ingested in large amounts can turn out to be lethal. Is Adenium a bonsai? The desert rose is a small succulent tree native to Africa and Arabia which has fleshy leaves and develops a bulbous base. The desert rose is popular as an ornamental plant but not often seen as a bonsai. What are the benefits of succulents? Here are seven benefits of growing succulents in your house. They can brighten a home in any climate. They can help to purify the air. They improve the humidity of your home. They can add fresh oxygen to your environment. They can improve your focus. They can increase pain tolerance. They enhance memory. How do you care for adenium plants? Adenium obsum care, growing the desert rose plant. Give adenium obsum, desert rose, plants highlight 6 hours or more daily. Keep soil moist, spring, summer. Fertilize monthly with half strength 20-20-20. Reduce watering in winter and no feeding in winter. Does adenium need sunlight? In their native habitat, adeniums grow in full sun so they need good light to thrive. Direct sunlight is preferable, especially when they are in their active growth phase during the summer months. Water requirements, soil moisture is an important consideration in adenium culture. Can you grow adenium from cuttings? Growing adenium from cuttings is the easiest and can be a fun. By this process you can multiply your adenium into hundreds and they will flower very soon. Only difference is that you can't find caudex in these plants. How do I get my adenium to bloom? Feed an outdoor plant two or three times during spring and summer, using a balanced, water-soluble fertilizer. Feed indoor adeniums every week during spring and summer using a water-soluble fertilizer diluted to half strength. To encourage flowering, it may also help to use a phosphorus-rich fertilizer or bone meal. How fast do adenium grow? Slowly reaching maturity. Adenium desert rose has a slow growth rate, which for trees and shrubs generally means it gains less than 12 inches per year, often only reaching 14 inches after 3 years. What is the best soil for adenium? Many folks use succulent, cactus soil for adenium. Hoffman cactus mix is good for cactus and also works great for succulents like adenium. In it there's sand, perlite and limestone which works like a charm for drainage. Additionally, there's some peat moss in it that adds a bit of acidity in the soil. What is the best potting mix for desert rose? Use a potting mix formulated for cacti or succulents or use regular potting soil mixed with equal parts perlite or sand to ensure the soil is well draining. When repotting desert rose plants, make sure the soil is dry before gently removing the desert rose from its pot. What is the best fertilizer for adenium? It does need high nitrogen to flower. During the growing season, feed desert rose bonsai monthly with a water-soluble slow release 13 13 13 fertilizer grown as bonsai desert roses prefer a constant supply of low dose fertilizer rather than infrequent high doses what fertilizer is good for desert rose bone meal fertilizer to encourage growth and flowering the desert rose plant responds well to a phosphorus rich fertilizer bone meal fertilizer is rich in phosphorus and a good choice for feeding desert rose adeniums how often do you water adenium? Watering your adenium. During the growing season, adeniums can be watered as often as several times a week or even daily, depending on the soil mix that is used, lighting and the outside temperature. Larger pots can be watered less frequently, such as every two weeks or so during the peak growing season. How much water do you give a desert rose? Light and water. Place a desert rose in your most sunny window where it can get direct sunlight for at least 6 hours per day. Water the plant regularly, about once a week, add water until you can see water running into the saucer. How do you prevent overwatering plants? 
An obvious method to prevent overwatering in potted plants is with the use of a moisture meter. You also need to know your plant species and its watering needs. A broad guide for plants is to keep the top few inches of soil moderately moist. Does hydrogen peroxide kill root rot? The good news is it can be treated with hydrogen peroxide. So, if you discover root rot or believe your soil is badly aerated, here is what you can do. It can and will kill off bacteria and fungus, when it is absorbed into the soil, the hydrogen peroxide breaks down and releases oxygen. Why do adenium leaves turn yellow? If the yellowing starts from the inside of the leaves and spreading out to the tips, this may suggest lack of sunlight or underwatering. To make sure, check the soil condition and look at the adenium overall body. If the soil is dry and the adenium body looks wrinkled with non-glossy leaves, then the plant may be thirsty. Are yellow leaves a sign of overwatering? Moisture stress. Overwatering or underwatering are the most common culprits when a plant's leaves turn yellow. If plants don't receive enough water, they drop leaves to prevent transpiration, essentially, a plant's way of sweating, to conserve water. Before they drop, though, the leaves will typically turn yellow. Can adenium grow in water? For best results, put the adenium on a south-facing or west-facing wall. Spray the growing medium with water every other day. Adeniums do not require a lot of water but the seeds should stay moist while germinating. Use a spray bottle to saturate the surface of the potting mixture, being careful not to overwater. How long do adenium flowers last? You'll see flowers begin to develop in early spring. With the right amount of light, your plant should bloom steadily until midsummer. At this point, blossoming will cease for 6-8 weeks only to resume in the early autumn months. Can I prune adenium in summer? You can prune a desert rose year-round, though pruning the plant in late fall may promote a flush of new growth that is especially susceptible to cold weather damage. Blooming occurs on new growth, so timing pruning well before flowering encourages more branching and, as a result, more blooms to develop. How do you plant adenium cuttings? Take a cutting from the tip of a branch. Allow the cutting to dry out for a day or two. Then wet the end of the desert rose cutting and dip it in rooting hormone. Stick the cutting into a well-draining growing medium like perlite or sand mixed with soil. How long are adenium the seeds viable? 10 days. It shouldn't last longer than 10 days. There are examples when the seed has germinated even after a few months, but that doesn't happen very often. If you would like to know more about this video, please do not hesitate to leave your comment down below and also see this important information noted under the description. Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share this to others, and consider subscribing now by clicking the red subscribe button located on the lower right corner, and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss my newest uploaded video. Hoping to see you again on my next video.